All right, so I'm at Hobbs, um, hole one. So we're going to be doing the one disc challenge today. Um, I'm going to be using a Halo Destroyer. It was one of the most requested was a Destroyer. So we're going to be using the Halo Destroyer for the first nine holes. And then for the second nine holes, I'm going to be using the Glitch. So basically, it's going to be two one disc challenges, but they're each going to be nine holes. So, I mean, these were the two most requested discs. So I'm just going to do nine holes of each and try and satisfy as most people as possible but hole one 486 um dog leg right destroyer for the first nine holes hopefully i can just get one out in the fairway uh the goal the goal for the full 18 is just to be under par so through the glitch and through the destroyer just be under par all right just try and four one forehand one down the middle of the gap That's going to be a tough spot. All right, second shot after a rough drive. Um, use this stick as my marker. Uh, Still not in a great spot. Just gonna try and big. Try. This is what we have left in par, uh, and I am not trying to run this. So I'm gonna just try and get it in there close and just take a bogey. What? I just got a got a horrible roll. Hole one, not the best start. We took a double bogey. Hole two, par five, 535. Um, a little dog leg right. Um, there's a creek up here. You basically want your drive to be short of the creek over here to this left area or past the creek. I'm going to try and get it past the creek because I need to attack since I'm already two over. Um, this is a very eagleable hole when I'm playing normally, but I would be happy if I could walk away with a uh, birdie here. So here we go. We hit a tree and kicked down, but I think it's a little short of the creek. All right, we ended up short of the creek. Um, basket is just over the bridge. I don't. It's probably in line. It's in line with one of those I can see on camera. You can see an orange flag maybe, but we just need a good shot right here. We could potentially get an eagle, but if anything, I'd be happy to walk away with a birdie. But here we go. I'm gonna try like a flex forehand to utilize the whole size of this pump. I think we got a favorable kick, but it faded a little early. It should be a long eagle putt. Uh, so we actually got a very favorable kick, and we have a, probably about a 20-footer for eagle. So let's see if we can sink this and get back to even. <laughs> Fairly wide. Let me test the two. Yeah, so we just went from a eagle look to a par. All right, hole three, we're still plus two because we ended up three putting for a freaking par on the last hole. Um, 133, easiest and shortest hole in the course. I'm thinking either tomahawk, to try to just flatten and settles under the basket, or spike kaiser to just take all the power off of it and just barely throw it. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the spike kaiser and we'll see how that ends up. OK, 
Okay, we should be able to birdie that one. Hole four. Um, how far is this? 5.43, par five, dog leg right again. Um, basically, just want to throw a forehand out to the left, let it fade back right, stay in the middle of the fairway. That was perfect. Um, get a birdie. All right, this is where the drive ended up. Basket is across the creek that way. Um, not really sure what I want to do here, to be honest. There's a lane where I could go for like a skipping forehand. I could go for like a skipping backhand, wide hydro backhand, um, play forehand. I think the smartest thing to do here would be try it forehand through this gap right here. If I hit a tree, I hit a tree. If I don't, I don't. Um, so let's see how this goes. Okay, well, I completely missed the gap, but I ended up getting pretty up there. I ended up at the base of this tree on my second shot. Um, we're just going to try and Throw a little soft flex and get it up under the basket and take a birdie. Drop. Should be able to birdie that. Okay, 202, par 3, um, we're 1 over through 4, had an unfortunate spit out on the last hole, um, not sure what I want to do on this one yet, kind of thinking maybe a tomahawk that kind of just flips and slides up there, maybe a soft flex backhand, low driven forehand, um, yeah, I'm not too sure yet, even a thumber maybe, but, um, let's see. I think I'm gonna go for like the soft flake backhand. Just try and put it close. Alright, here goes nothing. Not great, not terrible. It'll be a putt though. Um, let's see if we can sink this. Just low. All right, one over through five. Um, this hole is just kind of dead straight, but you have a left gap and a right gap. Where's the T-Sign? It's 201. Um, I'm taking the left gap, this is total four in. Um, there's a creek right behind the basket, so I definitely don't want to throw this too far. So I may try to get like a light flex, that's what I'm thinking. And we'll see how that ends up, so he doesn't have to That was parked. Parked on this one. <sighs> Back at even. Alright, hole seven. We're even through six right now. Um, par four, I think 300 on the dot. Yeah, 300 on the dot. Uh, extremely uphill. Basket's like at the top up there. You may be able to see it. I think what I'm going to try and do is like a slight turnover through that middle gap. Just try and get up there for a potential eagle. If not an eagle, hopefully a birdie. Really just have to hit the first gap. Um, and yeah, so let's try and do that. Uh, so I think that went like 80 deep. I had like a 20 footer, a little downhill for an eagle. Let's see if we can sink the eagle.
right, I'll take a birdie. Full eight, super downhill. Basket kind of veers off to the right behind that stuff, like in line with that tree with the sign on it. It's about 225, but it really probably plays like 150 because of the hill. So you really, especially with the story, I really just want to throw this super soft. I'm not going to lie, that was not what I was trying to do, but I think it ended up good. So I guess we ended up catching one of these rocks and we ended up parking it. Two down through eight, I'll take that. Hole nine, four or four, par four. Um, little dog leg to the left down and like kind of slopes down, tunnels down there. Um, really just want to kind of release the short of flat and let it push and then finish left. Um, I'd be happy with a birdie on this one. Let's see. Super early release, but we caught a tree and I think it'll be all right. Not really much of a line. Actually, there is kind of a hyzer line right here. I think that's what we're gonna go for. Might get on a knee here. I may be out of frame, but I don't know. If I throw this well, I might be able to save a birdie right here. Look pretty good. With this right here, this will put us at three down through the front nine. Um, pretty solid. And now it's time for the glitch. Here we are, hole 10. First hole with the glitch. Um, we want to stay under par. We're at three down right now. Um, and as I got to hold 10, I kind of realized that it would have been a lot smarter to use the glitch on the front nine and the destroyer on the back nine, but too late now. So I think we're just going to try and take a lot of pars. Forehands are definitely going to suck with this thing. Putting should be better, but we'll see. So this basket, the orange one is actually not the basket. It's actually a dog leg right out of this tunnel. And I don't really know if I'm going to be able to turn the glitch that much. So I think I'm just going to crank it flat as hard as I can and hopefully it gets over there to the right, but we'll see. It got a little cut roll towards the end, but that was about as good as I thrown it. I could have thrown it, I think. The main thing we don't want to do here is just give ourselves a long comebacker, but we do want to give it a big. That's fine. I'm gonna go tap that in. Hole 11, 430, par four. Um, pretty wide open. Um, the basket is just to the right of that telephone pole and about two, 150 past that probably. Uh, yeah, probably about 150 past that. Um, I think I'm just gonna try and crank on this glitch to get it some height and just see where it ends up and see if we can get a birdie here. Wow. That was probably like I caught the telephone like I caught like the uh, the telephone line, but it didn't really take much off of it. I think that was probably about 380, 370 with the glitch. Okay, so it was a little shorter than I thought. We probably have about 80 left in the basket, somewhere around there. But um, we just need to lay this one up and just take an easy burp. Uh, let's see if we can do stuff. Little short, but should be able to make that. We got this left for birdie. Let's see if we can sink it. All right, four down through 11, not bad. You just go crazy. 
Yeah. All right. Second shot on hole 12. Um, pretty rough drive. We had some people there that I didn't really want to disturb, so I didn't do like a hole breakdown or anything because they were kind of just sitting there. Um, this is a pretty tough spot. I don't know, really know what I want to do from here. I may try like a soft forehand just to get back out to the fairway. I think that'll be best. Let's see. Open my bar. We nicked the tree, but it ended up fine. Third shot, basket's up to the right. You can't really see it, it's kind of behind the tree. Um, we're gonna try to turn over and try and save a par. It's gonna have to be a very technical shot though. Pretty good, might be able to save a par. I think it's a maybe like a 15 footer. So we've got about, uh, probably 20 left for the par. See if we can save it. That was a great par save after the first drive. All right. Hole 13, we're four down through 12. Um, it's a pretty tough hole for the glitch because I don't trust the forehand to stay on hyzer out over the swamp. And if I leak this backhand out, then it's gone out into the swamp. Because all to the left over here, all this area is swamp. So I think we're going to try my Anheuser that kind of just slowly comes back and pans and just gets by the basket. All right. Hopefully this doesn't go in the swamp. It wasn't great, but it was safe. Probably got about 35, 40 for the birdie. Um, tree right in the way. <laughs> it's gonna be a tough putt, but we're gonna try to It was a decent bid, had the height, uh, had the speed, just not on the right line. All right, hole 14, four down to 13. Um, definitely the hardest hole on the course. 423, par four. Um, you just wanna keep your drive straight. The basket kinda, the fairway kinda bends left a little bit out into a field past all this. And you basically just wanna get your drive like to the entrance of that field or like the beginning. So I'm gonna just try and power the glitch pretty straight. Hopefully keep it on top of the hill because it veers off down to the left and slopes and you do not want to be down there. So hopefully we can just keep this glitch in the middle. That was ideal. It was a good shot and we got a great kick so it's in the middle of the fairway. I think we're just going to try and do the same thing we just did but stand still. Maybe a tiny bit of turn and hopefully be able to get the birdie. Here goes nothing. Or just go in, drop. Wow. Right over the top of the basket. Should be able to make the birdie putt. Like about 20, 25 left for the birdie. See if we can sink it. Great birdie pickup right there. I did not expect to birdie this one with just a glitch. All right, hole 15, 422, par four. Um, basically like hole 11, but uphill and more open. So basically I'm just gonna try and get one somewhere up there with this glitch. Probably throw it out to the right or to the left a little and just have it turn over.
that didn't really turn very much, but it's in a fine spot. This is where the drive ended up. Um, gonna try and throw like a uh, soft, pretty straight, maybe a little turnover backhand and just try and put it close for birdie. And I turned it way too much. Ended up right behind that tree. That's what we left with. I think I'm just gonna try and put it close for par. Run. I'll take that. All right. Hole 16. Little barely dog leg left. Um, 202, par 3. Just going to try and lightly throw the glitch on some hyzer. Hopefully, it'll flip up a little bit and just coast over to the left. Have a birdie look. Let's see. I don't think it's great, but it should be decent. So we left ourselves with about 20 feet. Um, there's a gap in between these trees that I kind of want to try and hit, but I don't know if I want This would definitely be smarter, but our goal was under par and we're at five under, so we'll try and go through the trees. sunk it that came out on so much anhyzer that was the only way to do it though but we sunk it hole 17 we're six down through 16 um basket is just to the right of that dead looking tree we're gonna try and throw a backhand that just coast to the right a little bit and hopefully we have a birdie here goes nothing It didn't really turn it and uh but it got through and it kicked off the tree and we'll actually have a decent putt all right so here's what we're left with Let's see if we can sink this for birdie Alright, 7 down through 17. Hole 18, 345, par 4. Um, really uphill. Really goes like uphill and then downhill. The basket is basically straight in front of this tree right here. Um, but I mean, obviously further. But we're just going to try and hyzer, flip up with the glitch, land somewhere out here on the other side of this hill, have a Easy upshot and hopefully a tap in birdie. <laughs> That'll be fine. Oh, the basket is directly behind this grouping of trees right here. Um, this is our second shot. We're just gonna try and put this close and in on a birdie. Try and get out of the way a little bit. Let's see. should be able to tap in a birdie. All right, we ended up minus eight through 18, um, minus three on the front, minus five on the back. Um, I thought the front nine would have been better because it's usually easier, but I think if I would have used the glitch on the front nine, I could have shot a little better. The double bogey on the first hole killed us. That saved us from getting double digits. We should have just easily parred that hole. Um, but let me know if y'all want more videos like this. Um, it was fun to film and play. 
only using one disc. Uh, we definitely had some good shots, definitely had some bad ones. It was tough. Um, I plan on posting this on YouTube and starting to post on there. So just let me know any more video ideas y'all have and if y'all like the video.